Dr. James Beckett, Sports Card Insights. Thanks, sponsors. Beckett Media, Beckett Grading, Beckett Authentication, ComC.com, Heritage Auctions, Hug and Scott Auctions, Burbank Sports Cards, Mike Stadium Sports Cards, Tops, Panini, and Upper Deck. All of them were affected by the announcement earlier uh, this week that the National Sports Collectors Convention has now been officially at least planned to be rescheduled. I think it's rescheduled, but it's not in absolute cement, but December 12th through the 16th, which is uh, very interesting. Never been done before. Still going to be in Atlantic City. We're obviously in unprecedented times. Uh, again, it, it's possible that it might not happen. Uh, I hope it does, but I don't think we can say anything is 100% in this day and age because there are a number of factors outside our control, uh, not just in New Jersey, but in the nation as a whole. Uh, the curious thing, it's going to, this would be the first national really to start on a Saturday and finish on a Wednesday. Saturday is usually the day for the masses. Uh, and Saturday uh, this year, September 12th, Saturday might be amazing. It could be a huge crowd. Again, that could be a problem uh, because I don't think people want big crowds, but uh, Saturday would generally is a, is a very busy day for the national. Uh, Wednesday, uh, which used to be kind of the day when you'd scoop up the, the goodies and, and get there first, now it's going to be the opposite. It's going to be the end of the line. And uh, when dealers are packing up and perhaps uh, willing to make uh, make deals instead of carrying things home. Uh, I really believe a lot of the customers that come are going to perhaps just do the weekend because it's, you know, it's still that last full week, uh, work week before Christmas. And so the Monday through Wednesday may be uh, a little more peaceful. Now, that's not necessarily bad uh, because, again, if you're trying to do social distancing uh, when it's uh, super crowded, uh, they actually may restrict who how many people can go in. But I believe the most serious customers will come for the weekend. And, and again, that, that may mean that Monday and Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday are, are, uh, are, are peaceful. Uh, the attendance, if there are less customers, they're going to be more purposeful. They're, I don't think the tire kickers and casual lookers are going to be coming, uh, not just due to health risk. It's just, it's, it's uh, to go to Atlantic City. You're just not going to go there unless you're, you're serious. And there'll be some great dealers there. And uh, with uh, perhaps just like restaurants, they, they're only trying to do 25% capacity or 50% capacity. If they do that in a card show, I don't know what that means. But uh, if there is some limitation, uh, it's possible that will drive uh, the VIP uh, signups in order to uh, thinking that the VIPs that pay extra will be avo- uh, able to avoid the kind of the walk up line that uh, is is there usually at the nationals and those on those uh, days lined up to get in when the, when the doors open. Uh, the flow of the crowds once you get in, uh, Rich Klein was telling me maybe they'll do like one way streets <laughs> that there'll be uh, directional arrows that you're you you just you turn to the right and you go down and you. The uh, even numbered rows, or you head north, and and odd numbered rows you go south. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but uh, who knows? The the uh, they there'll, there'll be some rules that establish themselves in order to avoid people uh, uh, infecting each other. Uh, no lingering. I I just can't imagine being at a card show and somebody telling, "Hey, keep moving." You know, don't just stand there. Either buy something or or uh, or, or keep moving. And that's maybe when I was a, when I was behind the table uh, four or five decades ago. <laughs> that was kind of my uh, desire, but I uh, wouldn't be so bold. Um, you know, the antiseptic wipe downs, uh, the waiting around for temperature checks, everybody being a mask. Uh, I, I think it it uh, it may be just something we have to tolerate. The gloves, everybody with gloves. Uh, but hopefully people have some interesting gloves, maybe some interesting masks, and they could they could make it fun. Uh, I went to a, a smaller function the other evening as soon as we could get out, my wife, my lovely wife and I, and we were there, and I made the mistake of touching my face, and the person said, uh, would you go wash your hands right now? I went, what? So you just touched your face. So well, yeah, it's my face. I didn't touch anybody else. Just wash your hands. So I, I did that. I felt kind of stupid. Uh, but how stupid would it be to have a cashless national? You know, some countries are trying to do away with cash. It's, it's, you know, money is contagious uh, in, a, in a, in a getting disease sense. So maybe it's credit cards only this year. Uh, maybe the tables for the dealers are not contiguous. Maybe they're not touching each other. Maybe they're, maybe there's uh, three feet between uh, or six feet between dealers. So maybe it's, maybe it's more sparsely uh, laid out. So if there are less dealers, which there, I don't think there'll be more, but if the spread allows for less dealers, but there's also less customers, and if you're, if really what you're cutting out are the duplicative lower level dealers that are not bringing in, uh, uh, material that's as interesting or customers coming who are not really serious customers, then if you have half the dealers and half the customers, perhaps that's, uh, you know, same 
wallet share. You know, that there's the, the same amount of money goes around. It'd be less money, but less dealers. And uh, all those who come are happy. The, the collectors can have a, enough selection and the dealers uh, get enough business. Uh, as for the breaker pavilion, uh, that actually could be business as usual, <laughs> which I think sounds good. Um, so then I thought, how does this affect my uh, sponsors? Uh, because uh, they're intentionally spread across the uh, industry. So Heritage Auctions and Huggins Scott, uh, what would it look like to them? Well, it might be pretty much business as usual. I think they're there primarily meeting with consigners and bidders and uh, showcasing some of their uh, you know upcoming great stuff. And they could continue to do that. They may be dis- a little bit disappointed with a slightly smaller crowd, uh, but uh, they still, uh, the, the key people will be there. As far as the uh, corporate Booths of Tops Panini and Upper Deck. Alan Nars Pack Wars is perhaps in jeopardy with not for the noise, but for just the the proximity of the crowd. And certainly Panini and Upper Deck have their own kind of giveaways and and uh, lines and groupings that uh, they they probably would prefer to have a maximum size crowd, but they're not. Uh, uh, you know, there's still going to be some serious collectors there. Uh, as far as uh, Beckett Media and ComC, same thing. Even the Beckett grading, they're going to probably be doing great business. Again, people will come for a purpose. Uh, I think if in doubt, they're not going to come. But there, there's a number of people in this industry that just, like me, I, I wouldn't miss it. If it's not canceled, I will be there. Uh, Mike Friedman, I think he'll he'll do well. He's he's uh, really enjoyed coming last year. I think he'll be a regular now and to have a less crowded ambience. I mean, he's the only professional crowd control consultant that I know as a as a Denver Nuggets and concert bouncer. So I think he knows how to handle uh, an unruly crowd or a large crowd or a small crowd. And as far as Rob uh, Veris and Burbank, they are going to absolutely mop up if this is the way it turns out to be. Because by Wednesday afternoon, uh, surely there will be some tables that will be uh, smiling when Rob comes up to them to offer to uh, take some stuff off their hands at a, at a, at a, at a, hopefully a good deal for both. Uh, the autograph pavilion. I'm sure they'll have sneeze guards and they'll, they'll, uh, make the best of it. And, uh, hopefully uh, the slate of, uh, signers will have, uh, necessary precautions that they can sign for, uh, people that want to stand in line for that. And those lines would be managed. Um, uh, you know, the David Adams and the blowouts and the, uh, the unopened product, uh, people, uh, maybe they're going to have to adapt to just put one box out <clears throat> and then, uh, you know, keep the back stock untouched. I don't know that people are going to want to pick up a box if, if it's the box that's been pawed over. Uh, so they may want to have some fresh boxes that are, that are not touched that are behind. And uh, finally, just to end this up, I mean, basically the, the good news is we're going to, it looks like we're going to have a national this year. And that's really positive. And the even better news is that, uh, and, and again, I hope that's really good news and it comes off, uh, as, as best can, as, as we can hope that, uh, that people will make the best of an awkward situation. And then, uh, really looking forward to getting back to normal. I know the national, uh, leadership is, is, is as well to get back into Chicago in the summer of 2021. So we'll be back on schedule and we won't have skipped a year and we will have enjoyed getting together, which I, like I said, I really enjoy that and I hope uh, to see many of you there. I'm going to definitely be recording some podcasts when I'm there. So thanks listeners. Be back uh, tomorrow with another episode.